Hey guys, Skywalker 18 here. Um, I want to wish you guys a happy Halloween, first of all. Um, I actually, did, I don't really have any um, ideas for a um, Halloween song to do a cover of, except when I started doing my channel, there's one song that I did. I did a cover of The Addams Family, which was one of my favorite shows growing up on my page and just so you know guys some of you may be fooled these this is not these are just tattoo sleeves this is my real skin tone and this is just the tanner version of it and this looks pretty cool this is not my real chest hair this is so as a little Halloween treat for all my viewers and subscribers I'm gonna be showing off my PC CD-ROM collection. I used to have a huge, 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 huge collection of CD-ROM games from my childhood. Unfortunately, of course, I gave some of it away, or we got rid of it because it stopped working, but I have a good a, amount of games in my um, collection behind me right now, but... And this and my gateway still runs despite the fact we don't use the internet anymore because it crashes all the time. But here's a selection of games. Some of them are um, games that I owned, and there were some games that my dad owned. So here we go. Um, first, first off is Pajama Sam. No need to hide when it's dark outside. It's gonna be nineteen. This was eighteen years old. I remember that game. This game was like the shit back in the day. And I did own... And while we're on this, this is a really cool game. I've had this since I was... Sorry, guys. Since I was... Four. And I still play this to this day when I'm just bored as hell. Um... Pajama Sam, Lost and Found. This was one of the junior arcade versions of the game, and it's still a fun game to play. It's kind of like Gauntlet. And it's really fun to play, but... I never really had a chance to play the other junior arcade. I got this... My dad got this at an um, old computer lab sale at um, his old elementary school that he used to be a janitor for. Lego Creator. Okay, now this is not the original LEGO Creator game. This was a promotional CD-ROM game for the short-lived uh, website server known as LightDog. Now, yeah, these were on Serial Box. They had Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, Carmen Sandiego, etc., etc. This was pretty cool, and it's fun to blow stuff up in this game. You can actually make, like, you know, landscape photos, and it was... At the time when Lego was trying to become successful as a home game franchise. And they also, I also had the board game. They also made a board game, a, a Lego creator board game. And it's amazing how far, it come, how far it has come now with the Lego movie out about nearly almost 10 years later. Which is amazing. You Don't Know Jack Movie Edition. Now, this is one of the uh, few um, You Don't Know Jack games that I have. Um, of course, I don't play them. Um, I don't really play them that much. I'm still trying to get the You Don't Know Jack game for uh, PlayStation 3. If I can, I still play the Facebook game. But I like the old school Jack games. Old school You Don't Know Jack games because it's fun to, fun to play. Sorry, I have a little glitch there just for a second. And, like I said, this is fun for movie buffs everywhere, and since I'm in film appreciation at, co in, at my own, and my film appreciation in college, I think maybe I would give a couple of my friends in my film appreciation class to play this game as a little fun, as a fun activity. So, um, this was one of my dad's favorite games that he still plays to this day, Warcraft 3, Reign of Chaos. There are two modes. There is the hero mode, and then there is the villain mode. Now, my dad beat, it, beat this game 
before he's beaten it time and time again and all that stuff. I played this before and it's really hard. My dad's pretty more better than that game than me, which I don't really care. I just like to play it and just and just play in a roar. So, twin Sega Smash Pack Twin Pack. This was I wanted this game, and this is like basically PC. You can this is like original how emulators used to be before we had the download stuff. It's okay. It brings back a lot of memories, but I still have. I also have Sega Smash Pack for a Game Boy Advance. It is okay, but nothing really. Um, I don't really have much to say about this. I just like playing the old Sonic games on there. So here we go. Who wants to be a millionaire? First edition. Okay. Disney Interactive made this, which was weird. I know Disney owned ABC and all that stuff. Very few people. I used to have, when, when I had birthday parties, I was like six when this came out, and I wanted to have it as part of my collection. We always, and a lot of people may remember, for those of you watching this, shout out, um, when, when I had birthday parties at my house in Naperville, we always played this in my basement or in the computer room, and we see who would win the million dollars, and it was a huge, huge, huge deal back in the day. Because I've al we always had that dream of being a millionaire and all that stuff, especially when you were like six years old. So if anybody, um, and this is to all everybody who remember who was there at my parties back in the old back in those days, they will like be like, oh my god, I remember that. So feel free to comment on that if you want. So another one of my dad's gems, sixteen oh two A.D., which is kind of like you know, I don't know. I don't, it's like The Sims, basically. I don't really, you know, it's like a war game and all that stuff. Very interesting, and I never really played it that well as much as my dad did, but it was a fun game to play. Backyard Baseball, 2003. I was a huge, 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 huge fan of Backyard Baseball. I owned the original, I actually owned the original, I actually owned the original Backyard Baseball, but then it kind of got so scrapped off that we got rid of it or and geared away or at a garage sale. So then I don't really know, remember, to be honest. This was awesome. We always got to play, you need to play kid versions of your favorite teams. Like I always played Sammy Sosa. Barry Bonds, usually you have like, you know, the original home run kings on your team. Sammy Sosa, Barry Bonds, and Mark McGuire. And Frank Thomas. I still play this once in a while, but it's not really. Yeah, now that you're, I'm now actually like, when, now I'm 21. You know, now that you're 21 years old, you're not really that. You're more focused on like, you know, Xbox and all that stuff, but it was good while it lasted. The D Show. Whew. I was a huge, huge fan of this game growing up. I've wanted this so badly. This was basically Disney meets You Don't Know Jack. It was a fun game to play, and the fact that I am a Disney nut, thank you very much, show that I'm good. I play this a lot at my house sometimes, but I might just keep it. I may never give this away. Or if I sell it on eBay, probably I'll get like a good, you know, 20 bucks for it or something. I don't know. 20 bucks off this. It's worth it. You Don't Know Jack Television. Another You Don't Know Jack game that I had. I actually um, never heard of You Don't Know Jack. I didn't know You Don't Know Jack was a... Um, video game in the first place. I just remember it as being a game show hosted by uh, Pee Wee Herman on ABC back in um, 2001, but it was pulled from the airwaves to be replaced by America's Funniest Home Videos. And many, the reason why it was pulled from the airwaves is because it was such a bad, it had bad ratings, 
And nobody that were fan that played this game knew that the show was on, that the show even existed on TV, till it was too late, of course. Yeah, this was uh, Sierra. This was the original Sierra release of the game. I may, if I ever go to the um, the resale shop, down to the resale shop, which is like down the road from my house, where I used to volunteer. This was. I always look for games like this because brings back a lot of memories. Monopoly Casino, Vegas edition. This is basically like, you know, Monopoly, like Monopoly as a hotel and casino, basically. You just play slots and all that good stuff, and I can't really have much to explain with. This was basically the, this was originally released in 2001 by Hasbro, but Infograms, um, this was the original, this is the 2000, this was the 2002 Infograms, really, Infograms re-release of the game. I liked it, but it wasn't really, it didn't really catch my attention, because that's why, because the promotional stuff, like, made it look good, because you see it, you feel like, oh, you can play all these old Monopoly slot games. Mm -mm. So, think before you buy. Austin Powers Operation Trivia. This was basically the Austin Powers version of You Don't Know Jack. This was a really great game. I still play it. I like playing it, and I've wanted to play it ever since I was little, and I thought it was pretty cool. It's one of the better Austin Powers games that they made because they made Austin Powers Pinball for PlayStation. They made some crappy Game Boy Color reproductions and stuff. But this is a good game party at it. It's like trivia with attitude. So, that's it. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I'm 21 years old. I still play this game. Yeah, I was, um, I was eight years old when my um, cousin was playing this. I was at my cousin's house and he was playing this game. He was playing this. And I played it, and I fell in love with it, and I just wa And you always had that dream of being a wizard, a uh, young boy wizard who survived a guy who's as crazy as Man as Charlie Manson, and save the wizard, and save the world, and save the day, and be the boy wonder with a freaking lightning bolt scar, scar on your forehead. And I actually went to school as him. And except... I wasn't known as Harry Potter. I'm known as Ginger Potter. <laughs> so, anyways, that is my um, game collection. I may add more. I may just keep the collection as it is. But, anyways, I just want to wish everybody a safe, happy Halloween. And gays and... I may, I may wear this as just my thing if I don't have anything else to wear on Halloween S until my sh shirt size goes up. So thanks, guys, and see ya.